The goes are all over there. The horses have been grazing here. This looks to all intents and uh, purposes grass. It is grass. But what I want to show you is the biodiversity of grass. This is Coxfoot. Here's a brome. This is one of the soft grasses. So just literally, and here's another one. This is another grass down here. You can see with a different seed head. And this is another, oh, this is a brome again. Um, but you can see just from there, that's the edge here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a sixth grass, seventh grass. So that's what biodiversity is, is yes, there's docks and thistles and buttercups, but there's clovers and trefoils and all kinds of different plants in here that the horses will eat. So you guys, we've got to go turn the horses out. They're waiting for their, they're waiting for their food. Yes. yes. And the sheep, which are just over the fence, they've got biodiversity here. Look at that sheep. That's a patch of thistles. And she's eating the grasses coming out of it. And it looks like it's coxfoot. Let me just check. Yeah, it is coxfoot. Isn't that right? You're eating the coxfoot. Yeah. You're eating the coxfoot and you like it. Look at that. And so many people say sheep don't like eating coxfoot or orchard grass, it's sometimes called. So all looking well. That sheep watching the dogs play. Okay, I've got to put this, this here is a gateway into this area. There's a way in down there and a way in here so that I can variate the grazing. And so this will electrify it. And there we go. The horses won't jump out or get out. So that's kind of farming for biodiversity. Here's, here's another variety of grass. See, this is a different seed head from the other ones I just showed you. So, and in here you can see that's a dock. There's a clover. Let's see what else is there. There's a buttercup, another kind of clover. Now, when I'm talking about different kinds of clovers, if you look at this clover, it's very dark. And this clover has a lot of white on it and has a different leaf pattern. So that's how you tell different clo clovers apart. Now, there are other ways, and there's a huge variety of hybridized clovers. But in this field, so, th so there's a broad variety of white clovers and purple clovers in this field. But it's very hard to, di to distinguish them other than, oh, and there's yellow clovers as well. So there's what I call purple and other people call red. Then there's white clovers, yellow clovers, um, etc. So that's what biodiversity is about. Look at that. There's some daisies. They're, they're closed still because they uh, don't want to open up until the sun shines and the sun's not shining. So... I'm going to go and release the horses who will gallop all the way up to there and start munching when the time comes. You dogs are going to have to move in a minute. I don't often get to film the horses from this direction. I've got somebody opening their, where they are in the shed. Here they come. <laughs> and around the corner. And up to the long grass. And heads down. Brindle, come back. Good girl. The horses are happy. 
very, very happy in the fresh patch of grass they have to graze. <laughs> Miss Daisy Rose takes a bit longer because she's crocked, poor girl. I might have to go and get Miss Daisy Rose and herd her along to move her along. But you can see the other horses are waiting for her, looking up, where is she, where is she? But they're trotting around in their lovely patch of fresh grass now. Grasshopper, who's very, very buddy-buddy with um, Miss Daisy Rose, might well come back looking for her. So I'm gonna go and herd Miss Daisy Rose on. Miss Daisy Rose, you don't realize There we go. Okay, Brindle, come back. Maya, Maya! Brindle, leave it! Uh, they just want to keep her going. Brindle, Boop! come on! Good girl. Atta girl. Now to tie this gate up. She just thought she was going back to more hay. Anyway, the electric fencing, pasture grazing of horses. <laughs>